guys, welcome to the video. This one here is going to be fairly quick because I'm trying to put on another video today as well. So I'm not even going to fire up my PS4 here. This is not a tutorial. It's just kind of a public service announcement type deal. It's assuming that you already know your way around a modded PS4 and how to use these host menus and whatnot. But I will run you through a quick little process and give you some advice to hopefully make your experience with this a little bit better. But Slayers Govi, and I hope I'm saying that right, just recently updated uh, the jailbreak for PS4s on 6.72. This was the guy or individuals, I don't know if it's one person or multiple, who originally came out with the first jailbreak for 6.72. There's been some improvements made here recently in the month of September and also within the last day or so. Now, before we continue, don't forget, make sure you hit that like button. It shows your support to the channel and helps me to keep bringing you all kinds of content like this, as well as tutorials and a bunch of other stuff. You guys already know how that goes. You do a fantastic job with each and every video and I sincerely appreciate it. Okay, so let's talk about this latest update. All right, so I first noticed this posted over at Logic Sunrise. I'll put a link down in the description. As I mentioned before, this was worked on a bit during the month of September, and then now recently here in October, over the past day or so, they've also made some minor improvements and tweaks here and there. Now, overall, this is supposed to be a little bit better performance-wise and stability-wise. I have a PS4 Pro, one of the late model ones that came out in the fourth quarter of 2019 and I tried this already now four times this morning and I only had one failure out of four. Now it is possible that I could have tried this five more times and just had five successes in a row. Who knows? So I haven't tried it all that much and I haven't tried it enough to compare it to lethals, but you guys can try it out. And if you don't like it, you can always go back to whatever host menu you're using right now. I know that some people say that with these 672 jailbreaks, that depending on the model of PS4, you may have better success that being with later model like PS4 Pros and later model Slims. Anyway, let's go ahead and go over to the GitHub. For those of you who want to host this yourself, go over to code, download the zip, and then all of these files will download. Stick them all in one folder. The index HTML is right there, and then you can put that folder wherever you want to self-host. But if you just want to go to the host menu from your PS4's browser, then you can come here. I will put the link down in the description. Now, before you use this on your PS4, there's a couple of recommendations that you should follow. So the first thing that everyone should do before running this is you should wipe the history from your PS4's browser. It's in the settings of the browser and maybe clear out anything that you're able to clear out there. The other thing I highly recommend is to wipe the cache to clear it out on PS4 systems, regardless of which one you have. It's the same thing. It's kind of a little bit weird. You need to completely shut down the system. Don't put it in standby mode. It needs to be completely off. Unplug it from the back. Wait a minimum of 30 seconds. I usually wait around a minute or so, then plug it back in. Once you've plugged it back in and you turn it on, the cache should be wiped. At that point, once the uh, history has been cleared out, once the cache has been wiped, then go ahead and run this. When you come here, what you need to do is click on the JB button or the JB link right here. When you do that, you should get a message within about 20 seconds or so stating that you're all set. Once you get that message, it should be followed by the there is not enough free system memory message that pops up. Don't worry, this means that everything has worked. If you get a jailbreak failed, just reboot the PS4 and start the process all over again. Now, once you get this memory, this um, there is not enough free memory message, just click OK. And then you're going to come down here and you're going to press the mirror button or the mirror link. This will go ahead and load Mira and Hen together. Again, after around 20 seconds or so, you should see the you're all set message. This will be followed by what looks like a system reboot. Don't panic. This means that everything has gone well. Once that happens, 
go to your settings on your PS4, scroll all the way down, and you should see the debug settings there. At that point, you can use any other payload you want, play your backed up games, and all your usual stuff. Okay, so what if you need to run a payload from another host menu that isn't on here because this just has a few payloads? Well, there's a couple of options that you have. You can run that other host menu, activate the hen there, and then activate the payloads that you need, use them, then, you know, wipe your history, turn off the system, wipe your cache, then come here and use this the way I described earlier. The other thing that you can do is once you have Mira and hen up and running here, you can go to another host menu. Those host menus usually automatically cache all their files into your PS4. Once they've been cached, you can launch whatever payload you need to use from that host menu. You do not need to activate that menu's hen because you've already activated Mira and hen here. Now, if you notice after you've done that, if you use another host menu, if after those files have been cached, if you notice that it's causing a problem here with this host menu, like it's causing more instability, or the next time you use this, you're getting more failures with the jailbreak, then before you use this, you may have to once again, wipe the history, wipe the cache the way I told you to earlier, then come here, run the jailbreak and run mirror, and then you'll be all set. And for those who are curious, as a side note here real quick, Logic Sunrise does list a few of the improvements overall that were done. For example, several changes to the management of the cache were done and some corrections on the management of some addresses, as well as a few improvements to limit the memory corruption. There are other tweaks and improvements that have happened as well. They just haven't been listed, but let me know what you think after using it and how it works out for you. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. You know I appreciate you as always, and if you found anything here helpful, useful, informative, or you just want to throw some love or appreciation to the channel, again, don't forget, the best way to do that is to hit the like button. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Much love going out to everyone out there. Be careful, be safe, but have fun, and we will catch you on the next one.